everybody. First, I wanted to give you a quick Quora update for those of you that watched my video last week. I have, in the last week, I've used the mask twice. Once the time I showed you and then once more. And I've also used the color adding conditioner twice in between there. And with each use, I am seeing more and more of that purple come through. I don't think it's showing up on camera quite as vibrant as in real life. Hopefully you can see it, especially in the sunlight, it gets very vibrant. Um, so I am getting happier with it. I do think it's something that if you have darker hair like I do, you are going to have to see a gradual buildup to really notice those results you want. But if you can be patient, I think you'll be happy. I'm starting to get very happy with it. I'm going to keep using it and I'll keep you guys updated and hopefully as I continue to use the product, I will see even more and more results. So I'll let you know. But for now, let's get on to the main topic today, which is a 60s mod inspired look. I'm going to be using products that I already own and just try to mimic what I have seen through Google search results based on a suggestion I got from one of you. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you have any other suggestions for looks you'd like to see me try, feel free to see, uh, send them my way. So to start with, I'm going to start a little bit different because the 60s looks I saw had very drastic lower lashes and that's not something I normally do so I want to start with those because if I mess up I don't want to have to wipe off anything else I've done. So I'm going to try to achieve that look using the Unique Moonstruck Epic 40 Mascara in the lower lashes. And one thing I noticed was they like to have like almost that spidery look where they were very separated. So let's see what we can do there. This is not at all how I normally do. Like normally I leave my bottom lashes pretty bare. You know, I might do a light coat of mascara. But I definitely don't try to get them to look long like I do my top ones. I'll let that dry a little bit and then add some more. So some fun things I did. I, I tried to do my hair in a 60s look. Tried to get that volume back there and the side swoop. Um, I saw a lot of earrings in the shape when I was doing my research with the kind of big oval oval dangly hoop and then one thing I thought was so cute was the little like side neck scarfs kind of reminiscent of the old flight attendant look the vintage look so I recreated this just using um this is actually a belt from a robe I have and a ring to help kind of pull it all together and then I actually already owned a dress that had the big fun bell sleeves so I went with that I'm going to do something I like to do all out and almost make it kind of costumey. Um, did not have the white boots that I kept seeing, unfortunately. So I went with a similar style of boot, but in brown that I already know. I feel like I need to add more later I can always go back in but I think I'm pretty happy with that for now okay so for the eyeshadow what I saw a common theme was a very pale neutral look on the actual lid itself and then a very severe defined line of a darker color in the crease. They might have even used eyeliner for it. I'm going to try to achieve it using a darker shade of eyeshadow, but I did bring an eyeliner so that if it doesn't work, we can go that route. So 
for my eyeshadow look, I'm using this KAB Cosmetics. This is their day and night palette. For the neutral color on the lid, let's go with the lightest one they have. It's called Naked, which is appropriate because I want a very bare natural look down there. I mean, let me find a good shadow brush. This is indeed very light, very just natural looking. But at least it's kind of evening out the color, so it is preferable than just actually leaving it bare, I think. Okay, now to create that very severe line, I'm going to use a very small brush. And I think I will try this shade up here, Terracotta. That looks fun. It's, it's dark, it's vibrant. We'll see how well it works. And it seemed like they literally just did an arch right to the crease, almost like a rainbow look. This is not at all how I would do it on an average day. So this is going to be a bit of a learning curve. I am getting that nice contrast for sure between this color and the previous one. I'm happy with that. I think I'll probably go in and try and clean up some of the excess, make it a little bit thinner at the top of the arch. I actually think that looks kind of cool. What do you guys think? Is that something you would wear? Would you try it? Do you think I nailed it? I missed the mark. <laughs> you can tell me. I won't be offended. I wasn't born until the 80s, so this is all just based off of what I've seen on like Google image results and things like that. This is nothing I've experienced firsthand before. actually came out a lot thinner. I like that. I don't feel like I've got as much to clean up.
What do you guys think? I'm pretty happy for my first attempt. <laughs> of course, I don't judge myself too harshly either. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to attempt to wear the false lashes on the uppers. I told you guys before, I am not really a false lash user. This is the first pair I've ever bought. I've experimented with them a few times this week. I feel like I'm starting to kind of get the hang of it, but I don't have the proper tool, you know, the sideways tweezer looking tool that everyone needs to apply. I just have a pair of regular tweezers. So I do think purchasing one of those would help. But for now, what I have will have to do. And if I can't get them to look right, I'll just take them off and add more mascara. But I'm going to try. It's like I always say, it's all about having fun and experimenting. And it's just makeup and it comes off. I'm going to give them a whirl. I am going to use my bear with me a moment. Wait for it to get a little tacky. These are, in case you were wondering, the Kat Von D's Vegan Beauty, the big go big or go home, and dramatic. And they definitely are. Like, I feel like on camera they show up okay. I feel like in real life they are borderline ridiculously big. But for my first pair, I, I wanted, I didn't want to be disappointed. I wanted to get something that I would definitely notice the difference. And... Believe me, I, I noticed the difference, all right. What about you guys watching? Have you nailed the false lash technique? Or do you struggle like I do? I'm guessing you probably don't struggle as bad as I do. Okay, so there's one eye. See what I mean about like there you're they're dramatic for sure and I'm sure I don't have them on 100% correctly like I can see a gap they keep coming up a little bit if I had that proper tool it would definitely help so I might have to cut pick that up next time I go beauty shopping So you guys think I think it's kind of funny almost like they are they're over the top <laughs> um so 
So yeah, I, I, I like them. I'm definitely going to try some different pairs and different lengths and experiment and get that tool and, and try and get better at it. I'm not sure if I'll even keep these because they kind of cover up the cool line effect. Like if I close my eye, you can see it, but... Keep wanting to pop up in this inner corner, especially. What do you guys think? I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not happy. I, I'm. I think they take away from that awesome eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna remove them. You know. Again, just having fun with it. And if something doesn't go with plan, change it up. I'm going to add a little bit more mascara to make up for the fact that I'm not using false lashes. But that's just how I'm feeling today. I, I want the dramatic eye look to show. With that line of the darker color. So, we will save the false lashes for another occasion. Okay, clean up any fallout. Now, I'm going to do a very neutral, light base. I just want kind of a glowy color, and it's going to be like almost 90 here today. So I want something sun protection. I am going to use the Milani Prime Protect. It's um, basically it's a sunscreen slash primer. So I'm going to mix some of this. In with my Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in the shade of light. It's kind of like a liquid highlighter, but you can use it for many different things. I am actually going to mix it right in with this primer so that I get a glowy look and a little bit of coverage. Not at not even really coverage, just kind of some color to even out my natural color. So I'm just mixing this together on the back of my hand till it's all an even shade. And then I'm just going to start applying it everywhere except for my eyes that I've already done. I love that glow. And see, it it's not cut. You can still see all my freckles and stuff. But it did give just a little bit of color so that my nose isn't quite as red. And again, that dewiness. I use my big all-over brush. Just pick up the last little bit that's on my hand. And help him. Blend it in a little bit. Super simple. I'm not doing any contouring. Just nice even glow is all I want. I'm happy with that. So for blush, I'm going to use the same one I did last time, the Wander Beauty Getaway Palette. In the shade Day Trip. I still really love that, that blush. So, my angled cottage brush. I can go too extreme, but I do want some color in my cheeks.
bottom that out a little bit. Okay, for my lips, I'm gonna keep those pretty neutral and matte because that's what I saw when I did my research. So I've got the Dose of Colors. It's a matte lipstick in Nude Mood is the shade. with that. Now I do think I'm going to add just a little bit more mascara on the bottom because I really want that wow effect. That was the biggest thing that stood out to me in those makeup pictures that was different from common everyday modern look was the drastic lower lashes. I'm going to add just a little bit more Very good to me. What do you guys think? Is it 60s mod? Does it fit in five? So, what do you think? If you guys have a favorite decade in fashion you'd like me to try and emulate. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Have fun and do what makes you happy.